I'm Chris Klein, and I'm here with the Sailor Station for the second signing day at Oceanside High School. Welcome parents, students, coaches, and administrators. My name is Scarlett Cahan, a member of the broadcasting class we will be covering today's event. To give you an idea of what will be happening today, we will introduce the athletes, take pictures, and we will have administrators, coaches, and counselors join for a picture. There will be an opportunity for pa parents to take pictures as well. Finally, the Sailor Station broadcasting students will interview coaches and athletes and will take individual pictures of the athletes and their families. At this time, I'd like to introduce the athletes we will be honoring today. Kyle Scheinberg, Adelphi University, swimming. Joseph DiMicielli, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, soccer. <laughs> Joseph Mazaraka, Mount St. Mary College, soccer. <laughs> Michelle Lomez, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, soccer. <laughs> Sabrina Seeger, St. Joseph's College, softball. <laughs> Jean Monaghan, St. Thomas Aquinas College, soccer. SUNY Maritime Football. <laughs> At this time, I'd like to introduce the Oceanside Director of Athletics, Mr. Jeff Reisner. Thank you. Thank you. So, good morning, everybody, and welcome to our second signing ceremony this year. Uh, this is another, what I call, a memorable moment in your kids' lives since they were so tiny. They work for this moment, so take lots of pictures. Remember this. Remember this. Congratulations to these seven terrific student athletes. Today we're honoring and celebrating the seven student athletes committing to continue their academic and athletic careers at the next level. We here at Oceanside Athletics, we believe that there's a place for everybody, regardless if they're going junior college, division one, division two, II, division three. We really believe if a student athlete wants to play college athletics, we will find a place for them. So we're committed to do all we can to help them succeed. And this is what your hard work has been about since you've been real tiny, all the dedication, the preparation, the studying to prepare to get you into college to play at the next level. I just want to thank our Board of Education who allows us to have an athletic program and uh, support these terrific student athletes. I want to thank all our administrators. Uh, Dr. Harrington should be here. Mrs. Provito, our uh, assistant superintendent, expressed her uh, regret she couldn't be here, but she's off campus today at a meeting, and our other administrators. I also want to thank our coaches who are in attendance today, the guidance counselors and uh, Ms. DeLuisi, uh, who does endless work as our Director of Academic uh, Athletic Advising. Probably the best thing I ever did in this position was go to Dr. Brown when I took this job seven years ago and tell him exactly what I'm telling you, that I believe that there's a place for everybody, but I would need help doing that. Well, we found the person who I call the Pope, Frank Luisi, who helps, helps me put this together and really spends an awful amount of, um, an inordinate, I should say, amount of time helping the student athletes in our high school to get into school. So a great deal of thanks to Mr. Luisi. He lives, he lives and breathes, he lives and breathes Oceanside Athletics and the commitment that he has to these student athletes is incredible. Uh, so I think uh, Mrs. DiCarlo should be arriving also our principal. She's not here yet. Um, so thank you very much for coming. And also a big thank you to Mrs. Miller. If you watch uh, Mrs. Paul, Mrs. Miller, it's fun to do what you do here. Mrs. Miller and her students who put this together, we really appreciate all you do to make this a first class professional operation. So thank you very much. Let's give another hand for our athletes. We will now begin our interview process. Before we interview our athletes, our photographer will take pictures of the athletes and their families. I'm Jessica Jacoby and I'm here with Sabrina Seeger who's playing softball at St. Joseph College next year. So Sabrina, I know you play basketball as well, but what made you choose uh, softball over basketball? Um, growing up I really just liked softball better and I liked being like in control on the mound and I liked having a team behind me. What made you pick St. Joseph's as your college to continue playing softball? Um, I love the coach, and the school is very small, and I like that about it, and it felt like a home away from home. Is there anything you want to say to the, wish the rest of your team? Um, I just want to wish them luck on the rest of the season, and I know we're going to kill it and get a county championship this year. I'm Christopher Klein, and I'm here with Joe Misaraka. I just want to ask you a few questions. What attracted you to Mount St. Mary's? 
Uh, when I visited, I just fell in love with the campus. I loved everything about it. And I don't know, I feel like it's where I belong the next four years. And approximately how long have you been playing soccer? Uh, since I was like five. And what about Mount St. Mary's attracted you to their athletics program? Uh, last couple of years, they won a lot of awards. They won a conference championship. And like, I just feel that maybe I have the chance. That's where I win my ring. All right, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. you too. I'm here with Mr. Supple, who is the softball coach. How do you feel after watching uh, Sabrina mature for four years and then head off to college? Um, Sabrina, you know, seeing her mature from ninth grade to twelfth grade, she's a four-year varsity player um, who's come a long way. Um, her play is great, but just her maturity, her leadership qualities, all of those things have been um, invaluable for this program and it's a very special day for me to see her sign at a, at a great school like St. Joe's. What's the best memory that you have with Sabrina over the four years you've known her? Well there's a lot of them um, but you know I know she would probably agree you know um, winning a county championship her sophomore year in which she was the pitcher um, you know, she probably had her best game in game one of that Nassau County Championship. And then to win it with her on the mound was a very special memory, and I know she'll remember it uh, for the rest of her life. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Michelle Lamose, and I'm going to ask you a few questions. What levels of soccer have you participated in during your time playing the sport? Um, I've competed at very high levels. I've played with the NPL League and the ECNL League for um, most of my uh, soccer career. Okay, and what skills do you feel you bring to, to Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute? Um, I've experienced positions at the attacking and defensive side of the field, so I feel like I will be a very versatile player for them. Okay, and finally, uh, when did you start playing soccer? Um, I started playing at a young age, about seven. After I saw my brother playing, I decided that I wanted to play as well. Okay, thank you, and good luck. Thank you. I'm here with Kyle Scheinberg, who will be swimming next year at Adelphi College. So what made you decide to start swimming? Uh, I started swimming when I was six years old, and I started because uh, I did a lot of sports, but my dad signed me up for swimming, and it uh, really stuck with me, and I really enjoyed it. What is your favorite memory at Oceanside High School? Uh, probably when I started the swim team this year, lobbying board meetings and just really pushing hard to get it done for this year. All right. Any skills that you think you'll bring to your new team at Adelphi? Uh, I think I could probably start a uh, new culture, maybe a winning culture at Adelphi. Uh, I definitely think that my butterfly and my distance will really help the team. And uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing what we can do next year. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Mrs. Winchester, and I just have a few questions for you. If you have to give your players who are graduating a parting piece of advice, what, do, what would it be? Certainly to enjoy the next step in their career as far as both academically and on and off the field. Uh, be safe. Um, go from day to day and certainly improve each day of their life and you know show some gratification for what they've learned in the past. Absolutely. And finally, I just, what makes you want to continue to be the girls soccer coach after all these years? Well, this is my 30th year of coaching, and certainly at different levels that I've been and have been asked to go to the next step. But at this particular level, I just enjoy the high school. I'm here with Mr. Madden, the coach of the swim team. So, tell us about the swim team. So, this is the first year the swim team has ever been created, and I was really excited to jump in and be a part of it as soon as I heard it was being created. I've done a lot of things at the school, but I've really been looking for something to really sink my teeth into. And uh, so when I heard the team was being created, it was definitely something I wanted to be a part of. And without Kyle Scheinberg, this team never would have been created. Uh, when Ty Kyle came to the school here, he saw that there was not a boys swim team, there was a girls swim team, and that just was not acceptable to him. But through his hard work and his efforts, he rallied a lot of his fellow students, he met with administrators, he met with board members, and he did it in such a mature and professional and respectful way that the Board of Education and, and Dr. Harrington and all the administrators involved, Mr. Reisner, everyone was very supportive and uh, fortunately we had a, a very successful first season, we were 8-1 and, and Kyle swam at the county meet 
he was named All Division for for several meets, and um, it was it was a pleasure coaching him. And I look forward to coaching many more students in the years to come. And it's all due to Kyle Scheinberg's efforts. Okay. Do you have any goals for the newly formed swim team? Well, our first goal is to break all of Kyle's records, which he set. He, he, he basically set records in every single meet he competed in. So the, the kids in the years to come ha have some steep competition in Kyle. So uh, we look forward to him coming back and cheering on the kids next year. All right, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm here with Jody Maselli. I'm going to ask you a few questions. Uh, what do you feel you bring to Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute? Um, to the soccer team or the school in general? The school in general or the soccer team. It's up to you. Um... Academically, I'm pretty much I'm pretty up there, but I feel like Rensselaer has a lot of resources to help me achieve my main goals, which is to get a job right after school. And I just feel like I could I'm a friendly person, and I could improve the school any which way I can. Okay, and what made you decide to go to that school? Um, Rensselaer is a great engineering school, and I, I would like to be an environmental and mechanical engineer. So, and that is one of the top schools in the nation for it. And if I could play soccer while doing it, it's great. And finally, my last question is, what made you want to play soccer there? Uh, I've been playing soccer since I was four, and it's been a big passion of mine. I'm always outside playing, and collegiate soccer is just the next level that I want to play at. So that's it. Okay, thank you, and congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm here with Vincent Valero, who will be playing football next year at SUNY Maritime. So what about SUNY Maritime drove you to pursue football there? Um, I really just love the sport, and the school. I just love the school also, so it was just a good fit. I know you've probably had a lot of memorable moments at the high school, but what is your most memorable moment? Uh, probably getting in in the uh, county championship game. Yeah, just get catching the pass. Any advice you want to give to incoming freshmen who plan on playing football? Uh, work hard and just go to workouts. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm here with Mr. Blount, and I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Do you have anything you'd like to say to your players who are graduating this year? You know, uh, the Vince definitely, you know, we're very proud of uh, everything that he's done here at Oceanside, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, following him at SUNY Maritime for the next four years. And, uh, you know, just the best of luck, and, you know, get, get the best education that you can, have fun, and, you know, uh, just go, go get it. And my final question is, about how long have you been football coach, and what's your favorite part about it? Uh, I've been, uh, I just finished my eighth year. I've been a football coach here at Oceanside, and uh, I think the best part is just interacting with the, uh, with the students, you know, whether it's the students, you know, in school, and obviously my players. I just like, love the interaction that the players and the community have with football, and it's something that's very uh, proud, you know, and something that I enjoy doing. Okay, uh, thank you for coming today. Thank you. I'm here with Mr. Pumo, the boys' soccer coach. So, did you play soccer in college? Uh, yes, I did. I played at Manhattan College. Is there any last-minute advice you want to give to your players before they head off to college? Uh, yes, definitely go into uh, preseason ready to go, uh, in shape, and also uh, be able to effectively manage your time with, uh, with being away on road trips and, and schoolwork. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'm here with Shane Monahan. I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Why did you decide to go to St. Thomas Aquinas? Uh, they had a good business program and a good soccer program, and I thought it was a good fit. Uh, why did you decide to play soccer at that college? I've been playing soccer all my life, so uh, just that's what I wanted to do. And finally, what about your team here at OHS are you going to miss the most? Uh, I've been playing with these guys forever, so it's going to be it's going to be tough playing without them. Okay, uh, thank you for coming today, and congratulations. Thank you very much. And finally, all of us at the Sailor Station would like to congratulate all of our athletes on going out to college to play sports. And remember, for all things Sailor Nation, we are the Sailor Station.